Seventh grade, unit two, lesson nine. Solving problems about proportional relationships. Problem number one. For each situation, explain whether you think the relationship is proportional or not. Explain your reasoning. A. The weight of a stack of standard eight and a half by 11 copier paper versus number of sheets of paper. Yes, this situation is proportional. Each piece of paper has the same weight. To find the weight of the stack, multiply the number of sheets of paper by the weight of a single sheet of paper. B. The weight of a stack of different sized books versus the number of books in the stack. This situation is not proportional. Each book has different weight. The weight of the stack can't be determined by multiplying the number of books by the weight of one book. Problem number two. Every package of a certain toy also includes two batteries. A. Are the number of toys and number of batteries in a proportional relationship? If so, what are the two constants of proportionality? If not, explain your reasoning. Let's make a table. On the left side, you'll have the number of toys, and on the right side, you'll have the number of batteries. One toy, two batteries, two toys, four batteries, and so on. This pattern shows the relationship is proportional. And the constants of proportionality is one half and two. The number of toys will be half the number of batteries. B. Use T for the number of toys and B for the number of batteries to write two equations relating the two variables. We can write the equation B equals 2T because the number of batteries always equals 2 times the number of toys. We can also write the equation T equals B over 2 because the number of toys is always equal to the number of batteries divided by 2 or T equals one-half times B because the number of toys always equals half the number of batteries. Problem number three. Lynn and her brother were born on the same date in different years. Lynn was five years old when her brother was two. A. Find their ages in different years by filling in the table. To find her brother's age, we simply subtract three. 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3, 15 minus 3 is 12. What number minus 3 is 25? 28 minus 3 is 25. So when Lynn was 5, her brother was 2. When she was 6, her brother was 3. When she's 15, her brother will be 12. And when her brother's 25, Lynn will be 28. B. Is there a proportional relationship between Lynn's age and her brother's age? Explain your reasoning. No, there is no proportional relationship between Lynn's age and her brother's age because every year they both get one year older and the ratio changes every year. Problem number four from seventh grade unit two lesson eight. A student argues that y equals x over 9 does not represent a proportional relationship between x and y because we need to multiply one variable by the same constant to get the other one and not divide it by a constant. Do you agree or disagree with this student? I disagree because multiplying 1 ninth is the same thing as dividing by 9. In this situation, y equals x divided by 9 would be the same as y equals 1 ninth times x. Problem number 5 from 7th grade unit 1 lesson 3. Quadrilateral A has side lengths 3, 4, 5, and 6. Quadrilateral B is a scaled copy of quadrilateral A with a scale factor of 2. Select all the following that are side lengths of quadrilateral B. Let's start by multiplying all the side lengths of quadrilateral A by 2. Now we can easily see that the side lengths for quadrilateral B will be 6, 8, 10, and 12. So we can choose B, 6, and D, 8. 
we would not choose five, seven, or nine because those aren't side lengths of quadrilateral B. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.